Hello and welcome to 1387. So we're starting out the year rolling for everyone just like we have been doing. So we're going to start this time with our toddlers for the whole year. We only have two toddlers and they're on the very first day. So first we're rolling for Matthew Price and he dies. And then we're going to roll for Adam Hammond. Oh, and he lives. For a minute, I thought they were both going to die. Oh, my gosh. Now the Price family, they had the twin boys, and then they had baby Matthew. And now they just have Arthur is the only one left as a child. That's sad. Okay. Then to our children this year, we only have one. Johanna Morgan is becoming a child this year. And she is also dying. Oh my goodness. This Morgan family literally lost all of their children. Johanna married Grayson and had four children with him and all of them are dead now. They, she does still have Grayson's son from Penelope when he was married to her sister, but... Yeah, that's horrible. Okay, now we're here at our teenagers, and we only have one this year, and Victor Jones is becoming a teen this year, and he lives. So let's see how many years. He gets married in eight years. Wow, okay, we have three young adults this year. So we're going to start out with Wallace Smith. He lives which is good because he hasn't gotten married yet. Gold lives. And then Latisse, who also hasn't gotten married, she lives. So the only birthday left is Ingrid Smith way up here. She has to roll a one to eight. Nope. Ingrid Smith also dies. Wow. This is going to be an interesting year. Well, apparently we're all going to be up at 430 in the morning. Hello, and welcome to 1387. What a way to kick off the year with nobody being able to sleep through the night. Well, it doesn't seem to be a blizzard, and most of our chickens seem to be awake, so we're going to jump right into our chores today. We have a, an awful day today. We're actually having two of our people who have birthdays are dying today, so it's not going to be a great birthday day where we get to go around and visit everybody so this is new year's which they love to clean and do fire activities so we're actually going to have him come out here and just light this fire and just keep it burning all day if we can i might forget about it and then we <laughs> don't do it but he's already done his because he's been cleaning coops the other thing is they get to try for a baby today. So I have already, let's see, she can hang out at the fire. So I've already changed the thing for them, the percentages. So it's back at 30%. We're going to let her take a bath really quickly and let him play at the fire. Just play here. Is that going to make you happy yes his fun's going up just from hanging out nope now it's going back down what there it goes up okay all right so it's friday which is their next day to try for a baby so that's what they're doing and then wait where's he going tending the garden oh my gosh look at his little self uh he came out here to weed this plant tomorrow is harvesting day are you serious winter's almost over that fast Oh, it sure is. Wow. Two weeks kind of flew by. I feel like we just planted our crops. He cannot weed this for some reason. Okay, now we are not going to take a pregnancy test or anything, but we will check in a couple of hours and see if she has throw up. She's still hungry. We're going to have her come eat. He needs to go to the bathroom. Baby boy is weeding. We'll send him out here to keep weeding. I don't see anything else, so I think that's the only one that needs to be weeded. Yeah, but at least we have some that look like they're ready to be harvested tomorrow for harvest day instead of being reset, so that'll be nice. Anyway, I think things are going well here, especially since, let me see, everybody has accomplished their New Year's tasks and the things that they wanted to do for that. Oh, it does seem to be a blizzard, maybe, and the baby is screaming, so we will have mom. Actually, we're going to have mom handle her while we go do some birthdays. We've got 
only one piece of good news. Everything else is bad. So I guess we'll just start with the bad. So we're going to say that Ingrid, who was staying with Isla and Isaac, the twins, Maleficent's twins, on her way back from there, she somehow got sick and never could get over the sickness. And so now she is dying. And now everybody's very sad. She's the last one. She's the last one from John's children, our last heir. So she was Kellen's older sister. All right, Wallace is going to take her tombstone over to the cemetery. She was married to Wallace's brother, Jeremiah. And so we're going to put her next to Jeremiah. All right, she goes right there. And we keep going. We still have bad news. Actually, a lot sadder news than a 40-year-old dying because this time it's a little guy. He's turning two. Now I can set his age to toddler. Let's see what happens. I've never done it before using MC Command Center. So he's walking over to him or he's walking over, yeah, to pick him up. So I guess that's how he's going to age up. I'm not sure. I bet that was so hard for them to figure out how to do it like this. Okay, where are you going with him? Okay, he's putting him down. Maybe it doesn't work like I think it's supposed to. Okay, so it canceled out the grow up thing that I did on him. So I'm going to try to do it again while his dad is holding him. And let's see if that does anything. I didn't go read about anything that it changed because I felt like it was uh, hard to do already. All of them just say put down. I don't know if that means I need to have the parents go do something else to stay away from the baby for a little while or what. Okay, I'm going to try that and then I'm going to tell the baby to age up. It says he's reaching a milestone. I don't know what milestone he's reaching. Oh, Reach milestone unlocked. Okay. Oh, gosh. Rose, our sweet Rose, has gone into labor. Okay, well, we're making a cake over here to try to age up the baby. So, I guess we'll come back after we go have Rose's baby. Oh, my gosh. Lightning left something in their yard. Oh, my gosh. The boy is super bored from socializing with his dad. Oh, my gosh. Well, go find something to do, little boy. Okay, we're going to leave them here. Catherine, I don't, she stopped making the cake. So we're going to leave them here and go to Rose, and then we'll be back. I hate it that we're having to kill her baby. Here we go, Rose and Milo. We need to change Milo into some purple clothes. But I'm so excited. All of these first babies, so we know that they will either be named Milo or Rose. Look, Milo's freaking out. <laughs> Dying Rose is pregnant. Their house has zero things in it except literally a computer upstairs to make sure they were at 100% when they tried for a baby and then a, a bed downstairs. But we're just going to stick a bassinet right here. I think this is perfect. All right. Come have your baby, Rose. It's a boy. So first we get little Milo Bell named after his dad. All right, and now let's do our roll first for mom. Yes, and then for baby. Come on. No, Milo dies. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rose. She's so sad now. She's just going to cry over the baby. I hate it. Okay, and now we're off to do more sadness. I did not want to do more sadness. All right. Uh, sports day, right when we got Matthew to blow out the candles. And he's fussy. Not that it really matters. Wow, he has a hoodie on and, and some glasses. He is making a statement out here. Well, here, looking just like his big brothers, is Matthew Price. Oh my gosh, he fell with his head, like, almost in the fire. Uh, this little family has just had enough. All right, we're going to let Vitalis take 
the tombstone over where they already have little Vitalis's tomb tombstone. Vitalis was the only boy who lived in his family, and then he has had four sons, and he only has one of them still alive. All right, Vitalis, they put him over here. So we're going to put Matthew with Vitalis, and then there's room at the back back here for mom and dad. So we're going to leave all this sadness and go to our one piece of good news for the day. <laughs> our little... Adam Hammond, Adam, who lost his wife, giving birth to the boy Adam, has lived. And so he's got his daughter, Zuria, helping him take care of the baby boy. And we never even aged this baby up to an infant because I guess I was more concerned about his mom dying. So anyway, we're going to age him up to an infant. And then I think I have... An idea about how we're going to age him to a toddler. Let's just ignore the fact that he's not wearing any clothes. Oh, he has blonde hair like his mom, Adam. Oh, an intense infant. I'm so glad they ended up with one blonde and one brown hair. <laughs> he's like, I do not like this music at all, Dad. For real. But here is my plan. See, I can make him a toddler right here and an infant. So I'm going to go ahead and do his infant stuff and take his picture as an infant. And then I will make him a toddler and do his toddler picture. And really, that's all I have to do for the infant. Here is baby Adam. I love those gray-blue eyes. Now, wow, he looks so big. Here is toddler Adam. But first, let's fix him up. Okay, I just love this. Here is Adam Hammond. So at least now I know how to age up my infants. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I put the same clothes on him as his dad. But that is so cute. Let me see if I can get a picture of them. Hold on. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> They're dressed alike. Okay, we get to leave him here alive for once today. We get to leave somebody alive. And we're going back to our house in just enough time to get everything ready for bed. However, we don't have to go anywhere tomorrow for birthdays. There will be some people maybe delivering babies tomorrow. And we will have to go there for that. But no actual birthdays tomorrow. We also get to find out if our Alice is pregnant again. Our baby girl is definitely screaming in here. Let's see what she needs. Oh, gosh, no. I almost hit age up, which she is aging up tomorrow, but not today. And let's see. No throw up. Ida, again, Ida is nowhere to be found. Please get home wherever you've been. And she's always just feeling great. Since she's feeling so great, though, we're going to have her come to our feeding out here. Wow, she got an uncomfortable from breastfeeding. That's awesome and realistic. <laughs> All right, it is definitely time for bed. Baby Alice is poopy, so we're going to change her dirty diaper and then go to sleep. Well, everybody had a great New Year's, and now everybody's asleep. It's harvest day, but I'm pretty sure the pomegranates and the pears that are in season are the ones that are, have restarted themselves. Yes, they have. I'm going to send her to harvest the pears that are off of our property and let's see what else. Maybe everything else here will stay harvestable. All right, the chores are done. And they need to try for a baby today because it's Friday. And then we're going to age up sweet baby Alice. Okay, it's been a few minutes, I guess, or it's been a little bit. Let's see. I just right now have pregnancy tests and nothing else. So let's age up baby Alice, and we'll see if that changes throughout the day. Oh, she has red hair. Oh, and she's sunny. Just what we need, a little sunny. Oh, my gosh, I think she's got, like, those <gasps> bright <laughs> eyes. Look at those eyes. Oh my gosh, Kellen is immediately in here like, hey baby girl, I love it. And of course, like she walked right out of here and went straight to kiss Kellen because that's all she can think about doing. Okay, little boy, I know you're doing a great job. 
talking to your little niece here. I love it. But I need you to see anything else that can be harvested. I need you to come harvest, please. Okay, our baby girl is doing great, and we need to go give her some different clothes. Oh, she is red hair and those bright turquoise eyes. I love it. She looks so much like her mom. Same eyes and same hair. Well, same color hair. Great. Okay, here is our little Alice Miller. Our adorable first infant in our main house. Alice is a snuggly sleeper. They're going to cry when they're put down, even if they've been soothed. They prefer to sleep while being held or in a back carrier. All right, she is a little bit hungry, and <laughs> she's tired. She's mad right now from being tired. So I'm actually going to let Mom feed her, and then I'm going to let Sebastian hold her to sleep after Mom feeds her. I think it's so cute. We still do not have a throw up. So I'm going to assume she's not pregnant and we will try again tomorrow. Look at him. Just giving her a little nap in here. Oh, So cute. Alright. We need to cook some more food. I forgot about the roast turkey we were going to do to celebrate having our first baby. So I guess it's okay if we do it now. All right, buddy. I know they're all sad because Ingrid died. Their Aunt Ingrid. But I need you to come out here and handle these chickens. It looks like we need to get rid of some more. Oh, my gosh. Well, we keep getting a notification that Nugget is getting old. But Nugget is not actually one of our chicks. I mean, one of our chickens. So there goes Nugget in there. But I can't do anything for Nugget. So <laughs> we're just going to be stuck with whatever. Wow, look at this roast turkey she just made. That looks fantastic. Kellen is, I mean, Sebastian is hungry, but I don't know what he's going to do about this napping baby on him. Oh, he literally won't do anything until she falls asleep. Oh, she's starting to wake up. Oh, isn't that cute? Let's have Dad put her to bed. See if that actually does anything. Oh, she loves wake up time. That's nice. Mom is so tired. She's going to sleep or she's going to take a nap. It seemed to have worked okay. Never mind. As soon as I said that, she started screaming. It says try to go night-night. I think she is able to get herself. She's like, I don't want to go to sleep. But I think she'll be able to go to sleep. Well, she's happy, but she's not asleep. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to have to do. Let's see. This is super efficient infant care. Let's let grandma get in here and do some stuff. See if she can actually like. Wait, is she going to sleep? Oh, she's yelling for her dad. That's kind of cute. And also, um, baby care. We're going to do super efficient infant care and see what she does to her. Because she's definitely not going to sleep. Oh my gosh. She did call for dad. Dad, leave this baby alone and go get something to eat. Sebastian is going to do nothing but bother this baby. Not bother the baby, but do whatever the baby wants. We have an egg ready to hatch, babe. All right, she's like, little girl, you are super tired and you're going to go to sleep in this crib. And then she can tell her a bedtime story. She is still just not going to sleep. She's just laying here. We don't even get like a try to go... Night night. It is just a, this baby is going to scream. I have never had a baby that had this stupid quirk before and I hate it. <laughs> okay, now we have Alice in a back carrier. Let's see what she can do now. Can she can try to go night night. Let's see if she can do the laundry with a baby on her back. She's asleep back there. Grandma's doing laundry and she's sleeping on her back. Oh my gosh. She won't sleep in her crib. I'm glad we have three different adults that can wear her because apparently that's the only time she's going to go to sleep. Oh my gosh, it's not even that late. How about you and Kellen just play chess together? I'm going to let Alice get as much sleep as possible right now because 
on Sunday morning, she and Kellen are going to have to try for a baby. And this baby's going to apparently need somebody to hold her constantly. Wow. Her energy is going up. That's true. Aw, Rose came over. I mean, I don't even know what she's going to do now. I guess she's going to go inside and talk to them while the baby's sleeping on her back. Oh, I forgot. There are eggs that need to be hatched. Oh, it hatched on its own because we were taking too long. All right. Well, it's bedtime anyway, at least for the adults in the house. Our baby girl is apparently not going to go to sleep. I mean, not going to go to actual sleep. Oh, her sleep is coming up or her energy is coming up. Oh, gosh. We got an animation error because she tried to sit down, I guess, while she the baby was on her back. I'm going to see, will she just go to night-night right there? Because Grandma needs to come up here and go to sleep herself. We'll let Dad be in charge of her for just a minute. Actually, he needs to go to sleep too, so. Oh, she did go to sleep on the floor. Great. She's in here cleaning up, which is not what I need you to do. I need you to go upstairs and go to bed. Okay, we're totally leaving Alice right here sleeping. First blowout milestone. Oh, disgusting. Oh, she did it. She lifted her head. Oh my gosh, they're doing tummy time in the bathroom. Really? That's a tiny little space and that's where y'all decided to do this? Okay. Oh, she's so tired, Mom. Can you wear her on your back and let her sleep a little bit? This is ridiculous. I'm going to see if I can just tell her to go for a walk and see what happens. Not an energized jog. <laughs> Well, I don't know if she's stuck or what, but the baby is at least getting some sleep while she just stands out here. All the eggs are ready to hatch. We just had four in a row. We've also had a lot of the hens grow up, which is awesome. And Kellen just hatched four different hens. Oh, our snow is melting. Look at our snow pal. Pal. Oh, our snow pal. It lasted all through the winter, though, which is great. And baby Alice has got almost all the sleep that she needs, which is fantastic. So can you wake up, baby girl? Okay, well, we're going to reset them now that the baby has gotten a lot of sleep because she super needs to go potty in her diaper and she won't use her diaper. So, oh, she's awake. She is using her diaper. Okay, great. I didn't have to reset them. Oh, she woke up. We do get to go do a birthday today, and it is good news. <laughs> Only good news today, so I'm really happy about that. But we're going to leave our little melting snow here at the house. Of course, these trees are now grown, even though... They're out of season now because it's spring, but we're going to leave everybody here handling themselves and we'll be back. Over here at the Jones house, we have one last child who has not become a teenager yet and I'm holding out hope that he won't get the Jones nose or maybe I'm not holding out hope. Okay, Victor, it's your turn. He's going to be getting married in eight years, so he'll just be living here with his dad until then. He is neat and a snob, and I already see that he's got the nose. Wow. Victor, why couldn't you have been cute like your mom? Really? All right. His hair's cute. Wow, he has multiple piercings in that nose, but, I mean, we got to take them all out, but still. Wow. I'm thinking maybe if he has some facial hair, it'll, like, take away from it like it does for his dad, but I don't know if it will or not. Oh, his hair's brown, not red. For some reason, it looks red to me. Okay, we're going to go with this. This is Victor Jones. All right, here we are leaving the Jones house after a good birthday. Okay, where is our baby girl? Oh my gosh, she's her head shoved in the wall here. What does she need? She wants to eat. Mom. Oh, Dad's... No, Dad's is not doing anything. Okay, Mom. Oh, my gosh. She unlocked the coup milestone while she was laying on the floor. Oh, it's snowing. Even though our snow is melting, it's actually snowing. Okay, did you get the baby girl? No, you didn't. Not before Grandma did. Okay, Grandma, can you put the baby down? 
as long as I don't let her energy get down too low, they can just give her a nap like this, and it actually works. I just don't. Oh, my gosh. She, she's a handful is all I'm saying. Okay, so she's actually had a really good nap, and Dad's not doing anything. So let's see if he can tummy time her. I'm going to go ahead and send her to sleep, but they are going to have to try for a baby still because it's Sunday and they haven't done that yet. So come on, baby girl. Learn to roll over for daddy. Yes. She did it. All right. Try for a baby. We're just going to try to let the baby go to sleep. Sebastian, why are you trying to be funny? You're supposed to be trying for a baby, not being mischievous. Oh my gosh. This boy... Just use this bathroom. Okay, I see the problem. There's no sink down here, but there is, there are two sinks right over here. And instead, he climbed all the way upstairs to wash his hands. And now he's going to come all the way back downstairs. Okay, they're so weird. Oh, the baby girl did go to sleep in her bed, which is fantastic. Okay, it's been a couple of hours. We still don't have to throw up, but we're going to be waking up pretty soon on Monday morning, and we're going to try for a baby. And we only have one birthday this Monday, and it's awful. It's Johanna just aging up so she can die, and I hate it. She does like her music, so that's good. Look at that. Everybody's sleeping almost all night. I love that this works. This does not. This is, oh, it doesn't work because it's a trash can. I didn't mean to have a trash can there because we're using disposable diapers. So it's supposed to be a hamper. There we go. Now, hopefully it'll work when she changes her diaper. Oh gosh, pee on caregiver milestone. <laughs> All right, we got her a play mat, and we're going to put Alice there when she's done feeding her. Oh, gosh, she just got her reach milestone. Great. And her laugh milestone. That's fantastic. You're not stretching right now. You're supposed to be trying for a baby this morning. Ida, all up in their business while they're talking about trying for a baby. Ida's like, hey, what are y'all talking about? All right, baby girl, I'm going to go ahead and try to get her to go to sleep right here on the floor. I know she doesn't like it, but let's see if it works. All right, Alice, let's go get you something to eat. His social is so low. Well, why are you sitting in here by yourself? Okay, so I just looked in our family inventory when I was going through and getting out the plants to plant for the spring, and I found three chicks and two hens in our inventory. So... Now they're out here on the in the world. I don't know why we had so many stuck in our inventory, but we did. But we're just going to get our new stuff planted. We've got our baby girl napping down here on her play mat. She has gotten so many milestones. So we're going to work on her rolling over. We'll do some more tummy time tonight if we have time. And if she's rested when we get back from doing our sad birthdays today. But we're going to have Sebastian and Kellen come out here and plant our new crops for the spring and just get our garden ready for springtime. We're doing quite a few uh, mushrooms and carrots this time. And then we have our few flowers over here that we always have. So I think that is going to do it. We'll go do birthdays. Oh, well, I guess we won't until we have Juniper Smith who is in labor. We're going to her house next. I wish I could just leave them and they would actually do these things that I've told them to do while we're gone. Okay, I'm going to Juniper's house. And this is Juniper and Owen. I have to remember where they live. Down here, yes. And they already have baby Juniper. Oh gosh, our mom is not home. Okay, she's literally standing right outside of their house, but she's not technically at their house. So I'm going to take her there and then let her go have the baby. I'm not going to make her walk, even though it was really close, but still. Okay, wonderful. So if the baby is a boy, 
he will be named Owen. And if it's a girl, we have to see what letter of the alphabet we're on. Speaking of our girl. Oh gosh, that was really fast. Okay, it's a girl. So we're on the ends. I'm going to look in the ends and pick a name. Okay, someone suggested Noel, and I think that's a beautiful name. So we're going to go with Noel Smith. All right, let's get our thing in here and roll for mom and baby after we make sure she starts feeding her. Okay, first we're rolling for Juniper mom, and now the baby. She lives. Oh my gosh, a one would have killed mom, but the baby girl lives. Yay. Okay, well dad just handed this baby off, so we're going to have dad age up. New baby, Noel. Oh, after he freaks out about her being born. <laughs> okay. Baby Noel with brown hair too. Mom's jeans are coming through strong at the beginning here. Cautious baby Noel. Here we go. Looking a lot like her sister is baby Noel. Okay, so we are leaving them here with their new baby, Noel, looking adorable and being so excited about being alive in the world. Speaking of being alive, though, we've got to go do the bad news. I just, I cannot believe the bad luck that this house has had. So, Latisse is still living here. I mean, all of these price people, actually. Because so many of them didn't even survive to adulthood. But the ones that did, they've had multiple children and they're still left with only one child each after having a lot. So here's our little Johanna aging up to a child. And I guess we're going to say she just got out and had some kind of accident. She's lazy. Oh my gosh, immediately she wants to go play with Grayson. Poor Grayson, who has literally lost both of his parents and now every one of his younger siblings. This is awful. She has that super bright white hair like her uh, dad did. This dress is beautiful and she is beautiful and I hate that she has to die. Here is Johanna Morgan. Does Grayson know? Grayson doesn't know yet. That's the only good thing about it so far. Oh my gosh, Latisse is over here like, I never ever want to get married. This is horrible. Okay, we're down to only three people left in this house. And we're going to take Johanna over to the cemetery. It's also Latisse's birthday at the same time, so I guess I should have aged her up while I was there. Actually, we'll take her with us to the cemetery, and I'll just age her up while we're here. We might as well bring Grayson. His whole family's here anyway. Okay, Latisse is a young adult. We're not giving her freaking. Okay, we'll give her unflirty and say that's the reason that it's taken her so long to get married feel like we have so many Morgans and babies. Okay, here you go. There's another Morgan. Gosh, they're filling it up over here. Well, we've done all of our visiting. Is anybody surprised that Ida is not at our house? We've done all of our visiting, all of our birthdays, the sad ones, the happy ones. They're all done for this whole year now. So we really should have Gwendolyn Jones giving birth at any moment. So we're just going to live out our final day here doing our farm chores like we usually do, playing in our treehouse, playing with our new baby girl. Okay, where is our baby girl? Well, she is floating in the garden. Okay, that's fine. Okay, she's sneezing and floating in the garden. That's no big deal. Mom, can you come out here and feed her, please? Not you, Sebastian. Oh, Sebastian's trying to go get some food. He's not even coming over here to the baby. Wow, our crops grew. I left them right after they... See, they didn't even finish planting all of them. Wow. Okay, he can finish planting and watering. Brown Rooster is not thinking of going anywhere. Can you please come get your baby girl? Oh, no, she can't because 
grandma has the thing. Brown hen's not going anywhere either. Y'all can just shut up about all of that. Give this baby to her mom, please. I need you to start feeding these chickens. So put the dang baby down. There we go. Give her to her mom. Her mom needs to feed her. Brown rooster is not going to leave either. Y'all are on my dang nerves with that mess. Okay, Alice, you bring baby Alice in here and put her down, and then you can come over here and get something to eat. Well, it is still snowing, but we're having a pretty nice day out. Other than that. Okay, baby girl. Why don't you look at some toys? All right, we already know she can roll over to her back. We need her to be able to roll over to her stomach. Come on, you're almost done, baby girl. Oh, she's getting it. She's getting the milestone. Wait, she got some kind of milestone. What? She lit up like she was getting a milestone. Oh, throw up. We didn't check the thing again. I've got to move this flower pot because they can't actually get to it where it is. Oh, maybe they can. Oh, so it doesn't... Wait, it does need to be weeded. Okay, let's see if she can get to it. All right, let's see. She can weed it. I just needed to, I guess, move it a little bit so that she could do that. Well, I mean, I saw her weed it, and it still says it needs to be weeded. So let's see. Nope. I guess it just looks like that then. All right, our baby girl is doing good. Mom has cooked some more food. It is time for everyone to go to bed. Maybe we'll eventually have a baby that spends more time sleeping in the baby bed than in the, than on the floor or, you know, in somebody's arms or whatever. But it looks like at least Alice is pregnant. So that means next year we will be having a baby. I cannot believe that we have 10 minutes and I cannot believe that Gwendolyn Jones did not go into labor. All right, it's midnight. That means it's officially 1388 and this year is done. I cannot believe we're going to have a new baby next year. I'm so excited about it. Also, we're going to have two weddings next year as well. So... It's going to be great. Our Kellen is also going to become a teenager. It's going to be a great year. I can't wait. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.